What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift. They're getting close to uh, that 1 million sessions played. So that's kind of a cool thing to see the session totals going up. So today's episode, if you catch a glimpse back there, that is my new car. But I'm going to show you that car in a little detail here in a second. So as you can see from the little icon down the bottom, I did build an E46. This is my new pro level car. So I am still waiting on one or two parts to show up uh, for the car. But just a quick look at it. We got those, uh, you know, those player style wheels, you know, getting them big chrome dishes in there. We're rocking the E46 full wide body um, on, you know, necks and tires. Definitely a, a very fun car to drive. Uh, like I said, I am waiting on a couple of parts i believe i believe i am waiting on i believe let's see what parts i am waiting on my clutch to show up and then i was going to get the brakes because i have there is like one or two pro items left that i need to purchase for this car and then uh it will be full blown out pro status uh we are rocking a four power plant on this car we are rocking a forged ls1 which Apparently it says I need to upgrade my block for my power because I'm rocking a full, I think 17 pounds of boost. So, but I've been waiting for the LS motor to come into stock because I do want to use an LS in this car. So I'm gonna have to get some money so I can uh, order this uh, stroked LS one. But the purpose of today's episode, if you haven't seen in the back, and by the title, um, I've saved up 15 sponsorship crates. So I decided today wanted to do a car build only dedicated with sponsorship crates. So we're going to have to buy a new car. And I for this, I wanted to use the S15. So we're going to purchase the S15. So now we got our S15 bone stock. Now we're going to open up those 15 crates and hopefully we get some parts to put on this car or some money to spend into the car. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to be opening up these 15 crates throwing this all into this s15 and seeing what kind of bill we can get out of 15 sponsor crates for this uh s15 here so we're just gonna you know hop right into it we got 15 sponsor crates if you guys are getting sponsor crate we have the ability to get all these tuning parts so hopefully we'll get some parts and uh we'll be able to uh build up this car so we're going to open up our first crate and our first crate draw is aftermarket calipers so we do get the aftermarket calipers those are going to go on the car so that works our second crate of our 15 aftermarket alloy wheels what wheels are we going to be rocking on this s15 for today's episode Ooh, red advent rs2s all right okay so so far two parts on two pulls looking good for the build on this car aftermarket differential so we are getting some uh we're getting some parts that are going to be going on this s15 this is kind of a uh, well we already did get after my caliper so now we're going to get some cash not much cash but a little bit of cash so i've been wanting to do something like this because this is kind of fun where we're building a car just based on sponsorships aftermarket tires nexon and 500s which we probably won't be using but it's always good to have some extra tires aftermarket angle kit that's definitely something good to have on this car so we're getting into uh, these crates here, and we're getting uh, getting a lot of parts. Nothing higher than aftermarket. Pro tires. What do we got? We got some uh, pro tires, which will probably go on the pro car, but uh, not going to use them on a stock S15 right now. Aftermarket clutch. Okay, so we got a lot of aftermarket parts on this car so far, and uh, we're just continuing. There more aftermarket parts. Arc performance exhaust. So we may have a very decent aftermarket car, aftermarket turbo right there, the T25 internal gates. So like I said, we may have a lot of aftermarket parts on this car to start off. Import tires, next in CPs. We always need more of those, especially for my S14 because those are the tires I run on that car. Some more aftermarket tires. We only got three crates left. so. I've been saving these crates up for this purpose of this. We did already get this, so we're going to get a little cash. It's kind of interesting how we're getting only aftermarket parts and nothing higher than aftermarket. Import engine. 
what motor is going to be going in this car a Ford 2JZ GTE so we got a pretty uh pretty good pull with that motor so that's uh that's kind of a good thing got some more pro tires some nexons definitely run those so we did get some pretty good pulls out of the 15 uh 15 crates that we run so now it is already installed so we're gonna go and uh, make sure all these parts are installed there we go aftermarket clutch we got our uh 2jz aftermarket exhaust aftermarket turbo we're getting some comments coming on here big shout out to you thank you uh, we're gonna bump up the pressure to uh, 7 psi we're gonna confirm that and then uh, we do have our angle kit which is definitely was a good pull to have we did not get suspension so that's kind of a that's kind of a bummer and why are my wheels not red was it ah uh, there 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 we go so I had to uh, take them off and put them back on to get them to show up and uh, it's definitely looking a little weird with just red but uh we will keep them on there because we did pull them in today's purpose of the build was to do a uh, a pull build on this we're gonna leave that there and we're just gonna see how this thing runs with the parts that we got on it I gotta go put the rear wheels on we're gonna make sure we fit the rear angle kit there we go and then get the wheels on there and then make sure we put stock tires on and then I think I'm gonna poke this just a little bit to make sure it gets clean on those fenders there we go so kind of sad we didn't get suspension we do have a little extra money so we may we may be uh we're gonna put our stock tires back on because we don't have that much power in this car right now and we can't really run those pro tires so we're gonna throw the stock tires on this thing is monster truck do we have enough cash to maybe buy some aftermarket suspension we do at least have money to buy some coils so we're gonna buy some coilovers and we're gonna instant buy them and install them that way we can have pretty much full aftermarket on this I'm gonna drop that as much as we can so for the purpose of today's build I think uh, I think we got a pretty uh, pretty interesting car to go test out don't know how this is gonna work with the 2j in there so s15 crate build uh we're gonna just go into it uh i don't think we're gonna be able to run it at cali banks we should probably take a practice run on it first we're gonna take a practice run at cali banks because i do like or should we should go to the slab slab is a better idea slab is a better choice to test this car out so after the sponsor crates build we got 535 horsepower which actually is a pretty decent amount of power on this car i don't know how it's going to handle with uh the way the engine is for weight and the uh lack there of performance parts but we're going to toss it in anyways hold the handbrake toss it in oh uh ow so so far this thing actually handles quite well surprisingly the uh the 2j is the 2j pull the import 2j was definitely a good pull for this build to give this car a decent amount of power so not too too bad i wish they would honestly fix that uh the uh backfire only coming out of one side so not too bad of a deal so i think we're gonna rip this car actually at uh cali banks here but we're gonna take the pro car out first so like i said it's 763 horsepower running on um nexon nefero tires um but i do not have it at full pro because i'm waiting on those two other parts they will be at full pro later today so i know a lot of you guys have been asking me oh wow pro anthony what's up man so a lot of you guys have been asking me about doing another live stream i will be doing another live battle stream tonight here on the channel i'll be bringing out the pro car as well as my 240 and probably this s15 so if you guys want a chance to uh throw it down tonight on the channel live battles that is a really good wall run oh my gosh i will be live tonight on the channel about 7 p.m eastern time like last time be running for about two hours or so so if you guys want to come by 
hang out, have some fun, get some tandem battles in here live on the channel. Make sure you stop by tonight because uh, I will be doing another live tandem battle session. And the uh, Pro Car 119 Cali Bank. Uh, been working hard on this car. Definitely enjoying this car a lot. This is going to be a good run. This is a run for the book, so I'm definitely going to have to make sure I get a solid chase on him. Because uh, while our points totals were just that, really close together, I'm going to throw it in, try and keep as close as I can to him with keeping angle. I cut that a little short. That's to be my downfall. I don't want to smack that wall. Ooh. The, uh, the pro angle kit coming in clutch there, allowing me to throw enough angle to stay off the wall, but still keep getting points. So this is a very decent chase. Hopefully it's enough to take the win. Um, unless he had a baller chase run. We did best him barely. That was a dang good run on this pro car. So kudos to that man. That was definitely a fun run on this first throwdown of the pro car for me you know showing you guys the new pro car so i will be running this tonight as well as mass 14 because i know a lot of people probably don't have cars that are up to the par of a pro car but you know what if you want to go against a pro car i've gone against a lot of other pro cars and uh you know what i've been able to beat them so and of course i will be rocking the s14 tonight as well my nice after bracket s14 569 now the s15 is getting pretty close there so we're going to throw the S15 into the mix, see how we do with this uh, sponsor crate build S15. It's looking a little, uh, I feel like I'm going to have to change the color of the car, red on red. Not feeling it, but we're going to go be going against some grassroot guys. So it's definitely uh, throwing it back to uh, grassroots here. So we're going to see how this works and then maybe make some fine tuning, but for a out of the sponsorship crate build I did not want to do that but out of the sponsor crate 15 sponsor crates I believe we did uh, throw down and pull a pretty decent build if I do say so myself if I can come out with a couple wins here in this car then uh, that will make it even better the handling on it's actually pretty good I was not sure how it was gonna feel with that uh, 2J because in the beta, I didn't like how the 2J felt, but this feels pretty good. So 43, 366 against Fred, and he got a baller run for being grassroot. Kudo. That just goes to show you, you don't need a car with buku amounts of power to, uh, you know, have baller runs, especially not here at Cali Bank. So we're going to try and see if we can't just get a good chase. I'm going to try and stay as much on his door as I can. I think the lack of... Uh, I am just trying everything I can to door bang and door dive this guy with his S15. This S15 looks like it has become my missile car. And we are on a tear of a chase run. 61,000 on a chase in a grassroots S15. From the sponsorship build, I think I'll take that as a win. I will take. Oh, I will actually take that as a win. Okay, so 61,000 points on the chase. It's always incredible when you get a better chase than a lead. Um, I was just trying to door bang him as much as I could. This S15 is pretty fun. I'm gonna have to put a livery on this car and uh, we can bring this out tonight in some live battles. Um, that was pretty fun. I think we're going to do one more here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, the reveal of my new pro car that I've been working on. I know I've been teasing it a little bit on Instagram, and a lot of you have been uh, liking that. So now, there it is, E46 LS, turbocharged LS E46. And now we have another, a little uh, 2JZ S15. We're going against another S15. I'm kind of sad they got rid of the wide bodies for the S15. So I think we'll be leaving it as a stock body kit because I'm not a big fan of the S15 body. But we are going to see what we can do in this next run here at Cali Bank. Let's smack the wall, don't smack the wall. Stay in drift, there we go. Just a wall tap, just a tap. And surprisingly, for only being a an aftermarket angle kit, this S15 has enough 
angle to grab itself and hold uh, some decent slides. So, like I said, you don't need a full blown out pro car to have fun. You can have a sponsor crate build, bang 71,000 on the leads, and uh, bang 60,000 on your chases, which we're gonna have to try and do again if we're gonna want a chance to take a win here against this uh, orange and black slap S15. Definitely gonna have to throw a livery on this car and uh, make it a little bit of my own. That's not what I wanna do. Initiating a little bit late. Try to suck up to the door. We are gonna fall back behind on him, and I do not think I'm gonna be able to suck up enough to bring this chase to a win because we fell back running a little wide there. I think the grip, grip level is. Uh, not what I wanted it to be right there, so only a 25 on our chase, 27, 28, 29 maybe. It's probably not gonna be enough to best this man. So we will probably run another one. Nope, we did lose, and just barely. So that was a pretty decent run. I'm pretty excited with how this S15 is driving, especially uh, here on the banks of Cali. So I feel like we're gonna run one more here in this S15. And then we will end off the episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which you found in the description box below. And make sure you tune back to the channel tonight for the live battles here on the channel. Hopefully we can get a good uh, good crowd like we did last time. Had a lot of fun with you guys, so we're going to be doing that again tonight. Got a bunch of cars that I'll be bringing out, obviously, as you can see. So uh, definitely look looking forward to uh, doing some more live battles with you guys tonight here on the channel. Hopefully we will have a good track set when it comes to that time frame. Okay, well, this run is done. You're probably gonna run out of time because uh, of that big smack in the wall. Uh, I'm surprised we have not run out of time, but we are probably not gonna have enough points to uh, get a win here. Surprised we didn't DQ ourselves in that. That was a pretty hard hit. So, well, it looks like he must have had some issues too, but we are back in the grassroots field because this is a grassroots car. It's a pro level car and I haven't driven it a lot. So, like I said, hope you guys come back to the channel tonight for some live battles and hopefully we can get a good crowd tonight like we did last Wednesday and uh, who knows maybe the devs will uh, pop on in again tonight like they did last time so big thank you to all you guys for coming out and watching this so hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, sponsor crate build and I uh, hope you guys uh, come back tonight okay he's just running up there too so I think that's going to do it for this episode here on Torque Drift so until next time guys, I'd like thank you guys for coming by. And as always, I'd like thank you guys for watching. Make sure you tap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. We do appreciate all the support. So I will see you guys later and uh we're gonna find out if we won this battle, but it's taking a little bit of time. We're definitely gonna have to throw a livery on this car. I think we won that battle. We did, we took the win. So I will see you guys next time. Oh, I want something